Hello! Again, I hope you're doing well. Um, again, my name is Ashley. Those are my arms that you're watching. Move all speedy fast on the paper. I'm still getting the hang of the tripod and camera angle, so please bear with me. Um, in this video, I am painting a, a little elf, a little elf girl and her moth friends. Um, I've been doodling this a lot work actually as some of you may know if you've been looking at my Instagram stories. I think I actually did post a sketch of this on my Instagram a little while ago but I decided to take the plunge and paint it. Um, I haven't done a watercolor painting in about three years before this <laughs> so I may be still a little rough around the edges but hopefully as I get back into the swing of things I will like I said, get just I guess just get back into the swing of things and learn how to crop my videos better. Oh, it's painful, isn't it? Oh dear. Anyway, yeah, you can see the sketch on the left side there. As my sketch keeps my spam, my sketchbook keeps falling down. Um, yeah, I decided to change her features a little. Um, in the sketch, her head is more like disproportionate to her body. I made it. I did the whole like tiny body big head thing and I decided to make her a little more ana anatomically correct for the painting but I really loved how I drew her oversized teeth so I kept those. Um, I've been also pretty inspired lately by Brian Froud. I have a lot of his books and I used to be super 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 into his work for a long time. And I kind of just stopped and I rediscovered the books when I went home to my parents house for the weekend a couple weeks ago and kind of fell back in love with the style oh a little quick note um, I went to New York a couple, uh, a couple months ago now with a friend and at the Met we noticed that a lot of Renaissance paintings have like just a dash of pink for the nostrils and it was so great because a lot of times I'll go in with like the darkest possible color for nostrils and it may be a weird thing to focus on but I thought I would try to incorporate that into my painting so I did use pink for her nostrils and I think it looked I think it worked well yeah I also I also am making the moth super bright to contrast with her because I made her skin and her hair and her top pretty muted. You'll see you'll see in a minute with her hair and her top, but oh, yeah, there her's her top done. I think I actually did lose a couple of the video files from this, so there may be a little skipping. But you can see that I'm using a pretty big brush with a pointed tip for this. Um, I wanted to give her top a little bit of texture also, so I was intentionally messy with a lot of how I painted in her top and the hair is coming up next. I made a mistake by sticking with that big brush and I got very very frustrated and uh, I ended up starting over the hair a couple times which is not recommended if you're working in watercolor. <laughs> but like I said this is my first watercolor painting in like three years. I'm trying not to be too hard on myself, but it's it's rough washing this. I'm not gonna lie. Um, yeah, but I thought it would look nice to have her hair more pinky toned to contrast with the green of her skin, but I still kept them both pretty muted. I I, uh, I mixed uh, yeah I mixed a little bit of black. Um, into those colors to mute them while I didn't I didn't uh, mute the saturation of the moths colors at all. They're going to be super bright and orange and yellow and happy. Uh, yeah, it's been it's been pretty nice getting back into painting and stuff. Like I mean I mentioned before, it's been about three years because I was in school full time and I was working two part time jobs. It was really tough, but I'm done school now and I have free time. So I've been painting a lot more, which is really nice. Um, it's a nice change from working long hours, retail, or doing homework and stuff. 
I did miss homework for a while, though, I'm not gonna lie. Um, like, I don't really know what to do with myself sometimes. Oh, and the lighting has changed. I really need to get better at this. Okay, here's where I'm gonna go back into the hair and try to fix things up a little, because it was really a mess. Um, and I couldn't really touch it or do anything with it until it was dry. I had to wait for the next day to be sure. Um, yeah, <laughs> that was a rough, that was a rough start to the hair. Oh boy, and I usually love drying hair. Hair is like the best. Hair and eyes is like, they're both usually everyone's favorite things to draw. It's like when you're bored, you draw a head full of hair or just several different eyes in different squinting positions. <laughs> so it was, it was rough for me with the hair. I think I'm gonna try also different positions with my lamp, maybe. I, I need to get the hang of this if I'm gonna be doing YouTube videos more often, which I kind of plan on doing. Um, I hope to be doing these maybe once a week. I used to do these once a week, so we'll see if I can get back into that. Um, yeah, I stopped when I went back to school because I just didn't have time. How do people think? How do people just ramble this whole time? I don't really understand. But uh, yeah, I if you found me through Instagram, welcome to the sound of my voice, and not just random pictures of me holding coffee and random sketches on my story and stuff. Uh, if you found me through YouTube, that's pretty cool. I don't really know how that happened, but I appreciate it very much. And. If you're someone I know in real life, please don't mention this to me. I feel a little embarrassed by the sound of my own voice. And also with how rough this painting is. Oh boy. I've also decided to start a bit of an Etsy shop. I have a few old paintings on there right now, a few old pen and ink, life, still lifes and stuff on there right now. You can go check it out. I'm gonna put the link in the description. And there's the final painting! Oh boy, that was... I, hopefully I'll get better at voiceovers. There's a little snippet of my other... of an acrylic painting a little while ago. And I hope you have a nice day!